Hey, it's Cool Cleveland correspondent Carol Drummond. I'm here with Michael Bloom, the artistic director of the Cleveland Playhouse. We're going to get a sneak peek backstage at the Allen Theater, their new home. He's going to tell us all about it here out front first. Hey, Michael. Hi, Carol. How are you? I'm great. Good. Hey, thanks so much for your time today. Oh, it's a pleasure. You know, here we are right in the right in the theater district, and I, I'm wondering about the benefits of moving down here. What? Tell me about that. Well, they're huge because uh, we finally will have a building with walk-up traffic, and we're actually going to have 500,000 people a year walk through the middle of our theater. Oh, my goodness. And that's because... The parking garage in back will have a brand new walkway from it right through the middle of our building. So it's a okay. great, uh, great opportunity. It's also wonderful to be down here uh, with Cleveland State University. This is a fantastic collaboration okay. with Cleveland State and with Playhouse Square. And they're going to be bringing 700 full-time students and faculty down here. So between them and us, it's going to completely transform this district. Okay, great. That's really exciting. Uh, so you said we can actually go backstage and look around? We're going to get a hard hat tour. Okay, let's go. All right. Thanks so much. Yep. So, Michael, what are we looking at here? Well, these are the renderings of the theaters, not only the renovated Allen Theater, but also the second stage, which is fully flexible, and a 150-seat lab theater as well. Wow, okay. So right here is the second stage, and this is new construction, uh, and it can be configured in any possible configuration we can think of. It has 300 seats and only seven rows in the entire theater. It's a wow. fantastically intimate space. So everyone's right on top of the action. It, they yeah. are indeed. Okay. This is the second stage lobby uh, and the point of view is from the Allen Theater lobby going into the second stage and okay. we're actually standing right over here outside the Bulkley Arcade. Okay. And then below is the beautifully renovated Allen Theater, and we're going to be going into that uh, in a moment. Hey Michael, so what? where are we now? What is this space? We are in what will be the brand new beautiful lobby of the Allen Main Stage. Okay. And uh, both to my left and right, there will be event rooms, one a VIP room. Okay. Uh, and then right down the middle, is where the entrance to the theater was. So and down the middle is in back of you? That's right. Okay, that's where and, the entrance uh, of the theater was. Actually, be. if okay. you can imagine where we're standing now, there were once seats. That's how long uh, and large the Allen Theater was. Okay. Uh, and you'll see how far we'll go uh, into the theater and just how intimate it's going to become. Okay, this is really exciting. So the the lobby that we just came from is... Lo that will remain the same, okay. as will the very uh, outer lobby. Okay. So we'll have quite a, a grand and beautiful entrance so to we'll the new So we'll pass Allen. through a number of entrances That's before right. we get to the actual theater. Okay. Yeah, for those entering on Euclid. Okay, great. Well, this looks like we've got a little ways to go till it's finished. There's an awful lot of uh, construction uh, going on here. Well, Let's we will be performing seat. here on f September 16th. Oh, really? You'll be yes. ready by September 16th? It most definitely will be. And what performance will that be? Galileo. That's the first show of the year. Uh, the story of the astronomer with 23 actors. One of the biggest productions we've ever done. Wow. One of the biggest productions we've ever done, and it'll be in your new facility. That's right. How exciting is it that? Is. Yeah, terrific. Wow. So where are we now, Michael? This we is quite are, a rough space. It, What's going on? It's amazing. Uh, yeah. We are in the auditorium okay. of the Allen Theater. And behind me okay. uh, is a uh, new section of seats called a parterre section, which is slightly elevated. It's not a balcony. It's kind of a mezzanine almost. And then right above us is okay. a four-row balcony. And to your left over here is a section that will be boxes. And there'll oh, be another wow. section... Uh, on the other side as well. Okay, so where these steps are is boxes. Now I see the old wall of That's the theater right. behind there. And let me explain what will happen there. There's okay. going to be mesh scrim that will be in front of the old archways right here. So before the show, they'll be back, they'll be backlit, and you'll be able to um, see the original architecture. Oh, how beautiful. Okay. And then when uh, we start the show, you'll focus on the stage. Okay. And I think you can see right now that the um, stage is very close to us. This is going to be a very intimate space. 
Uh, but this design by um, Westlake Reed Laskowski okay. uh, is really remarkable because it's really what the, is now called a mashup of the old and the new. Okay. Uh, and maybe you can see through there uh, where there's scaffolding right now. Uh, but that scaffolding will go away and you'll be able to see the original ceiling. Oh, wow. Which is going to be very exciting. But within that, it's going to be a very contemporary space. Okay. So the, uh, the stage, Michael, is behind you, you said? Yes, the, the stage okay. is behind me. Okay. Uh, and one of the great things about this design is there are going to be a lot of different seating options. I'm okay. standing right here where there will be a number of rows of orchestra seats. Uh, and then, uh, as I said, the boxes and the parterre and the balcony, uh, only 500 seats in the entire theater. Uh, and it's going to be very exciting, very intimate, not a bad seat in the house. Oh, so everyone will have, um, it'll feel like you're right up front regardless of where you're sitting. It really will. Oh, wow, this is great. And you said that they'll be ready for September, right? September 16th. Okay, we'll be, we'll be waiting for that to happen. I, it, a lot is going on here. It's just incredible. Okay, Woo. a lot of noise going on. So, Michael, where are we now? We're standing on the stage and looking back into the auditorium. Okay. A lot of work going on, as you can see. Yeah, so those are the seats of the, that we just saw behind Well, that's us. where the seating will be, right? Where the seating is behind us. So we're on stage. We're on stage. Okay. And one of the great things about being in this theater is it's really a Broadway-sized stage. It's quite it? large. Okay. Uh, and you can see behind me uh, an extensive fly system. Uh, one of the ways we change scenery is using the flies. Okay. Uh, and also, uh, you can see how tall the stage house is above us. It's really remarkable, and that's one of the great things about moving into the Allen, is we're inheriting a Broadway stage. And by the way, we're also moving from a non-historic building in 8500 Euclid into an actual historic building, which the Allen is. So what do you mean? The other one was non-historic, and this one it is? It does not have historic status. The Allen does. Really? Yes. Well, that's shocking. I thought that you were moving from a historic. I thought no, it was the opposite. No, no, this is, uh, that's right. Most people do. Okay. Well, thank you for clearing up that misconception. Sure. Okay. So where are we now, Michael? We are at the back entrance and uh, in front of the new construction. Okay. In other words, there will be two theaters here. Okay. Uh, a second stage and a lab theater. And just to orient you, where we are right now yes. is right in front of the Chester parking garage. Okay, so that's the garage that we're used to parking in when we come down to Playhouse Square. And okay. where that piece of wood is right yeah. now is where the walkway will start Okay. and it will go right between that elevator shaft and the wall. So it'll be indoors and a straight shot right through okay. our building. Okay, great. And behind me what All you'll right. see is uh, the entrance right. off of Dodge Court, as well as uh, a lab theater of 150 seats and a beautiful second stage, as I mentioned, a completely flexible 300 seat theater, and that's where the girders are uh, right now. So this that we're looking at is actually two new theaters? That's correct, okay. in what was a 50 car parking area. Oh, wow. So there'll be, the, again, three theaters yes. down here. Okay. And one of the things that people have asked, well, why do you need new theaters? And it's because these two theaters will be unlike any theaters in Cleveland. Okay. And the Cleveland Playhouse will finally have a second stage where we can do new work uh, and slightly different work in different configurations. So it's really an incredible array of facilities and facilities that Cleveland State will also have access to, probably uh, it will give them the best theater teaching facilities in this country. Wow, this is unbelievable. I had no idea the scope of what's going on here. It will also give Playhouse Square a really beautiful uh, entranceway off of Chester. Okay, so people can, um, yeah, they can go enter both ways. That's if they right. want to come in the grand entrance off Euclid or this incredibly convenient way in the back if they're driving down. That's right. They can go either way. Fantastic. Well, this has been quite an education. I just am, can't believe the, the amount of change going on. It, it sounds like change for the better. It's very exciting for us. Very exciting. Thank you so much, Michael. You're very welcome. This is Cool Cleveland correspondent Carol Drummond. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.